welcome to another episode of Security 101. And this week we're going to cover something that's kind of a pet peeve of mine, actually. And that is securing your home router. And this is a big problem. I have been places where I have seen multiple Linksys boxes popping up on my iPhone in a large uh, apartment complex because nobody knows what to do with their, with their routers. And it's a little bit scary, actually, how much... Uh, free open stuff there is out there. Now, it's not a big deal that people are using your internet to get out, although it's technically against the law to use somebody else's internet. Um, if you didn't secure it, you didn't do your best effort to protect yourself, so I don't know if there would be any prosecution. But the, there's a couple other things. Your computers are on that same network, which means if somebody wants to hack into you, they can get on your network and look around, and you never know it, and get into your machine, and give you malware, take your data, and a lot of machines are installed with open share, so you can take a pull things off your machine. Uh, you could be open sharing things between yourself and the house, thinking you're safe, but you're not. So we're gonna go over a couple of things that need to be done to a new router that can help, help protect it, and there's just some basic things. that don't take very long to do, and I'm not gonna go into detail how to do it because there's so many different kinds of routers out there. But I bet you have logged in somewhere and seen Linksys, and if that's the case, this is what you need to do to take that away. So the very first thing you need to do is change the default password. All routers come with a default password. It's easily found on the internet. It's probably right on the product page. You can download the manual. It's definitely in the manual. So when you get your router, you probably log in as either admin, admin, or if it's a Linksys, it's probably admin, Linksys. They're all, they're all known passwords. So somebody could get on your network, even if they got on via wireless, and control your router. Well, you don't want that. So the first thing you need to do is change your password. Recommend definitely something a little complex, not your family name, not your address, you know, not your basic information, because if somebody gets onto your wireless, they can probably guess what it is. So the other thing, and it's something that most people don't do, is change your default IP address range. And here is why I say that, because something I'm going to recommend in the few, you know, coming up here are a little bit different. If somebody gets into your wireless network, and it's a Linksys, for example, they probably know that the default address is 192.168.1 and then some other number after that, where if you change that to another address range, they're less likely to go through your network and try to find things. So they're gonna connect on your network, may not get an IP address, trying to, trying to figure out what's on your network, and they're gonna scan 192.168.1, and they're gonna find your computers if they can get, if they can get them uh, onto your network. So it's just better if you change that to something that's not known. It could be 192.168.2, that's still different, I'd recommend making even more different, like 192, 168, 121, or some other number up there like that, versus the dot one. So it's just something that most people don't do, and I definitely recommend you do that, just because it makes it harder for somebody who is trying to hack in. The other thing is you're not going to use wireless, definitely disable it, but that is typically not the case. Most people have something wireless. They have a cell phone, they have an iPad, uh, some other kind of portable device, maybe your laptop. Uh, most laptops don't even come with Ethernet on them anymore. You have to have, have wireless. So, but if you're not going to use it, disable it. But I'm not going to push that one because I know most everybody has wireless. That's the whole reason you probably got the router in the first place. But if you're using wireless, make sure you're setting up wireless security. It's very important. So wireless security is a key, basically, that protects people, you from people getting onto your network. It also does some encryption as well in the data. So it's not open. You, people just can't listen in on your conversation. So it does help protect your privacy as well. And it's very easy to set up. I definitely recommend WPA2 and probably personal if you have it. WPA is okay. Try to avoid WEP if possible. If you only have WEP, it's better than nothing. But I will say WEP is easily broken by free tools on the internet in a matter of minutes. So if somebody wanted to get in, you wouldn't be keeping them out at all. But uh, WPA2 is very strong and works very well. So I would definitely recommend WPA2 if it's available. And most modern routers have it. So uh, pick WPA2. It's going to ask you for a password. Set up something again. Don't use a family name. Don't use the name you're going to use for the wireless or anything like that. Make sure it's something unique. And just write it down somewhere. Stick it in the back of a cabinet or something. Uh, so your family needs it, you have it. Um, just make sure it's, you know, it's secured. So the other thing is, I mentioned about Linksys. So when a router comes, it comes with a default name. And Linksys is the default for Linksys. And each brand has their own, their own name. You want to change that to something else because there's a couple reasons for it, more than just security. If there's more than one Linksys in your neighborhood or within your range and yours is Linksys, your phone can connect to your neighbor's router versus your own router. And you want to make sure it's only connecting to your device. So 
you could have 10 people in the building all went out to Best Buy today and bought routers and you have 10 Linksys networks. Which one are you going to connect to? How do you know which one is yours? If you rename it, you know which one is yours. Um, it's not so important. I wouldn't use your last name or your address because that's just too much information, but you could call it anything you wanted, really. Uh, it's not that important at this point because it's just a name. And if you have security on it, it's, that's fine as well. Now, the other thing I recommend you do is in the router configs, most routers allow you to turn off what's called SSID broadcast. So when you change your name from Linksys to, let's say, uh, I don't know, Go Redskins, for example, uh, Go Redskins, people are gonna have iPhones can see Go Redskins as they're, as they're close to your house. So they can't connect to it if you've got security on, but they can see it. What you can do is you turn off the SSID broadcast, they won't ever see Go Redskins. So nobody else will know that it's even there, only you know that it's there. Now, if you're a hacker, hackers can see it because your router does do some broadcast uh, and uh, whenever it's communicating with the device. So it will, people that are trying to hack you will be able to find it, but it just helps hide you from the general public. That's all it does. And if you only have one or two devices in your house, I recommend, well, you can have more than that, uh, but there's a thing called MAC address filtering. And what you do is you get your iPhone or your iPad or your computer and you go into your router and you look on the local in your settings and it'll tell you what your MAC address is. You can turn on MAC address filtering in the router. And when you do that, only the, your devices can connect to your network. So that's an additional level of security. Now, to be totally transparent, I do not use that, uh, mainly because I have a lot more than two to three devices and I'm adding new ones all the time. It'd be hard to manage and uh, all the devices that I have, but it's an additional level of security that helps protect you. So if you add all these security features, your router is going to be very, very secure and you won't have to worry about anything. All right, that's it for Security 101 this week. We'll see you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the techzen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.